What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening? Happy Monday, you guys. I did make it back home from out of town. So, back to business, okay? This would be you versus them, so that's, that's, I didn't do it last week, so I'm going to do it this week. Um, all Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest, take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? If you need a personal reading, check the description box. Mm -hmm. Also, if you did uh, buy any email readings over the weekend, I'll be working on those this week. So, look for those in the next two or three days, okay? So, let's see what's going on. Here, our Gemini's. We have a retreat. Ooh. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, and then we have calling in your soulmate. Okay. All right. So, of course, if you're new here, this is going to be your person's side. It's going to be your side. Um, also, if you're new here, leave a comment. If this is your first time catching a video and all that, I always like to see new faces and new names and things like that. Okay. All right, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Did I say hit those likes already? Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe. Um, and if I did say it again, oh well. Okay. You can't reiterate that enough. All right. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Okay. So somebody wants a new start, Gemini. Person on your mind wants a new start. Could be a Capricorn because this devil is kind of sticking out here. Fourth wants. Yeah. Someone feels like you're kind of stuck to them. You're kind of stuck to them like glue. Like, that's kind of what I get with this. Um, because what makes me feel like that is, number one, this is like the soulmate card, like the 11-11. And uh, the devil can come, can show up in, in soulmates. Um, the devil can show up with uh, twin flame connections as well. So this could be type, that type of connection for some of you. A twin flame or a um, soulmate type of thing. Somebody that's just kind of addicted to you or addicted to each other. Okay. Somebody may be acting like they don't, they're not interested or they don't care. What is going on with this? Okay, there's another ace. Oh, somebody, mm, Gemini's. What is going on here? I'm getting like makeup love. That's what I'm getting here. That's how I. <laughs> But also the Ace of Wands flipped over as well. So I know we recently saw this in another read, the Ace of Wands in the Tower. So somebody's like wanting a new start, a fresh start. Um, like I said, something uh, something um, physical. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the new love card is over here. So mm, somebody might have somebody new. Let's see what's going on with you, uh, Gemini's how in alignment you are with okay we have the lovers some of you might be dealing with a capricorn because we saw that devil in the last one and then this time we have the lovers which is a twin flame uh energy so some of you this is a twin flame of some sort or some type of soul tie oh Jesus. the emperor some of you do have another person coming in um i'm seeing the two of cups and the queen of pentacles which is Capricorn as well. The Aries, another Gemini, such as yourself, a Scorpio. Child. But, no, oh, Gemini's. Okay. Um, could be a Sash for some of you. Okay. Six of Swords. You're contemplating moving away from some... Oh, wow. Here's what's interesting about this. The Six of Swords is going towards this new love card. Also, this came out under the Six of Swords. So, like, you're moving towards someone else or you're moving towards, um, like, more peace, balance, harmony. But you could also be moving towards that with this connection. But we'll see. Um, you may feel like someone's, like, a little bit immature or someone is um, not on your level, Gemini's. Or they feel like that about themselves. Okay, so, you know take the higher resonance they, it may not be you that feels like that um they may feel like that themselves but yeah i feel like somebody's wanting like to offer you some something new someone wants a new start a fresh start uh here with you um gemini's now it makes me wonder because you have the six of swords on your end and you have the retreat card so are you like trying to disconnect from this person or like you're trying to heal um on your own 
you're standing on business, whatever it is, uh, Gemini's, but this could also be like someone else. You've met someone else, um, Gemini's, or someone that is like serious with, uh, about you. See, there's three of swords here on the bottom, but like I said, this could represent you here on your side, okay? So take it how it resonates with you. But I see that, again, the four of swords, yeah, uh, the six of swords is moving the other way. Like, it's, it's moving towards this, this new love card. I, you know, I like, I'm big on imagery. So, like, I feel like you're, like, moving away from something. You want something new and something different. Um, and it could be from this person. Like, you want a change from this person, uh, Gemini. I do see a change, though, with the tower here. Like, this person willing to change or do something differently. Whoa! Y'all, what the hell? The will of fortune. Yes, heavy change. On see, you want change, and they're willing to change. Gemini's the moon here on the bottom. Yep. Wow. Mhm. Mm they are willing to change. Gemini's. You change someone. I feel like in there. <gasps> Gemini's the amount of major arcana on your person's side. The judgment. Holy shit. What is going on here, Gemini? Somebody is not <gasps> splitting the deck. Where's my hands at? Where's my hands? Come through then, spirit. Come through then. Yes, yes. Gemini, I don't know what you done did to somebody, baby, but um, um yeah. Um the tower when I split the deck, the two of wands here on the bottom. Yeah. Somebody's planning to make some type of like grand re-entrance. Um, grand reconciliation, maybe see the world on your person's side, or maybe yours. Um, lots of major arcana on your person's side, and usually with major arcana, it's like more of a, a substantial energy than the minors. Okay, so yeah, huge change. Um, on the person on your mind side, like somebody really literally. <gasps> No, y'all, come on. What is going on? You listen, here, Gemini's. Look, look what flipped over and look at how, how it flipped over. The Emperor and the Empress, y'all. You can't be serious right now. So, there's something very masculine about the person on your mind side no matter what gender they are they come out as extremely masculine now the tower here with the emperor could be this person um getting out of their comfort zone as far as like their ego or whatever someone may be very rigid um and very um they don't budge my way or the highway type energy and you may have adopted this from this person and they're like kind of seeing how they are <laughs> You may even call this person very stubborn and then you started kind of behaving because you're mirroring each other. You may have started behaving like this person. Now they're kind of seeing, okay, yeah, I'm being unreasonable um, because now you're kind of modeling their behavior back to them. You're pretty much reflecting them back to them in a nutshell, uh, Gemini's. And now they're like, yeah, I kind of need to do something differently. Yeah, heavy Scorpio. I see Sag, Pisces, heavy Aries as well. Nice, y'all. The six of swords is coming out again on y'all side. So, once again, this six of swords is facing this way towards someone new or something new. The two of wands is coming out on your side. Also, see the king of swords, the eight of swords. Ooh, the eight of cups, excuse me, on your side too. With the knight of swords, it's here. Mm, okay, well, Gemini's, I'm not quite sure. If you're even going to be interested in this anymore, uh, but this could also be like to, you know, you are dead set on doing something different. You don't want to do the same things over and over again. Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups again, y'all. And look at look what direction that Eight of Cups is walking in. Four of Swords here on the bottom. Yeah. That's the, also the retreat. I feel like Gemini, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily done with this person. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups here. I don't feel like you're necessarily done with them. Now, some of you are, okay. 
but it's more like you just want something different. Like I don't you want I don't even want to say better. You want something different than what this person offers and what they've been offering. You know, the the being closed off, the the not opening up, the not being expressive. You know, they may not be very lovey-dovey, the being set in their ways and things like that. And I feel like you just kind of want to be in a space where you feel um more loved and more cherished and things like that. And I get it. Uh, Gemini's I 100% get it. You want somewhere where people, for swords again, you want somewhere where people are going to actually reciprocate your energy, not people that are stubborn and, you know, won't meet you halfway and won't compromise and things like that, uh, Gemini. So, like I said, I feel like some of you have probably kind of created a wall with this person. Um, like I said, you, you're pretty much reflecting back to them the energy that they gave to you in a nutshell. <laughs> Well, they were, oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Three of Wands, yikes. <sighs> Gemini's, mm, well, I can't even say Gemini's, cross watchers. <laughs> so we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. And then, oh, we have the Empress here on the bottom. Okay, so Gemini's, I'm a little confused about your energy because I'm not quite sure. Um, if there's someone else, for some of you, that that's the case. So I, I'm probably um, tapping into multiple types of scenarios here. One scenario is you you have someone else you're interested in, or spirit is bringing you someone else because you have healed and detached from this person, especially if y'all are separated. Um, you've healed and detached from this person. Um, Gemini's and I feel like you want what you want like you want something solid you want something equal give and take you know someone you're attracted to blah 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 you know all your requirements and in, in a connection or your standard in a connection and I feel like you're willing to have that even if it's not with this person because like I said heavy it's a heavy mirroring energy here but I see it's more so you like trying to disconnect from this person and they don't want you to like they don't they don't want you to disconnect from them um Gemini's and that's why I feel like someone is like changing their ways the wheel of fortune again here on the bottom Someone like willing to change like change their ways to deal with you or be with you because you're like one foot out the door That's what I get <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that was the third scenario some of you you're out like you're walking away like you may be still in a, some type of connection with them But you are walking away Okay, because you know this person's not growing. Let me give you another example Say you're married, right? And you want to have, you want the marriage to be better. And you mentioned counseling, uh, marriage counseling, because sometimes the sixth source can be about therapy too. And we see that twice on your side. So you're seeing a therapist and trying to heal and be better. And they're not willing to do that. Like I said, someone very set in their ways. Well, I don't need no help and I don't need people in my business. And you know, you know the whole shebang. And I feel like for that, you're willing to walk away from this because they're not really doing anything to change the situation or make it better, um, if that makes sense, uh, Gemini's. Wow. <gasps> Y'all, somebody, <laughs> Gemini's, listen. The Ace of Cups again, first of all, on your person side, this person is not playing any games at all with you, Gemini's. None whatsoever. The Temperance card comes out again. I think we saw it on your side too. <clears throat> now with this temperance I feel like this is more so this person kind of wanting to come together with you now like I said some of you may be really opposite this person even though you're mirroring them that doesn't matter I feel like you are um, you're very different from each other and the temperance card is usually about um, you know blending two different things and making it into one and I feel like this is what this person is wanting from you they want to be able to like learn you and study you and incorporate you into their life and find some way because I feel like at some point um, or throughout y'all's whole situation y'all's differences may be getting in the way of growing okay but you have to like get over that if that's the case um, and like I said, if you're separated from someone, I feel like they are looking at this, you know, in a different way. Like, okay, yeah, I could have tried to understand um, Gemini better. I could have been better. I could have opened up a little bit. Um, you know, I could have stepped up more or whatever the case may be, uh, Gemini. So I feel like you're going to see a completely different person coming back to you, okay? Or if you're not, 
um, you haven't left them yet, I feel like you're going to find get a different uh, different person depending on what you guys are doing to make it happen as far as y'all going to counseling or whatever. Um, I'm seeing like a huge change in them. And I feel like though it's it's after you've kind of like pulled away from them though. Um, Gemini, it's going to be a Taurus for some of you. Somebody means business, baby. The emperor again. Y'all, ain't no way. It just ain't no way. <laughs> uh, the emperor. Some of you, this person is going to like mention marriage to you. Somebody isn't playing any games at all about you, Gemini's. Now, I don't know who this is, baby. Three of Cups here on the bottom, Page of Wands. Yeah, if you're not talking to someone, you will be. Yep. That's insane. This is insane. Gemini's, look. I feel like somebody knows that, that they need to step up and, and do better by you, in a nutshell. Um... Gemini's wow it's a lot of repeat cards on your person's side um which makes me wonder for some of you is this two fucking people Gemini <laughs> two people coming back or two people trying to make something work with you okay for some of you that's the case because I'm seeing two uh, Gemini's I'm not doing this with you I'm just not let's see what's, let's finish up your uh your side yeah <sighs> and it's so funny that the emperor is mm, child, clarifying each other. Somebody is coming in completely different. I mean, more more mature, more um, more stable. Yeah, five of wands. You have other options though. The sun card here. Yeah, you have other options. The three of wands again, you guys. Page of Pentacles and a Three of Wands again. I'm gonna have to get another deck because I have to clarify a couple. What fell over here? Yeah, Gemini's. Oh goodness. Okay, Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Eight of Pentacles. So Gemini's, look, <laughs> you're you're kind of going off on something else. Like some of you, your brain is elsewhere. Like, you are looking somewhere else. Like, you're not, uh, I don't want to say you're not acknowledging this person, but you are kind of um, looking elsewhere, Gemini. <laughs> I don't want to go too deep into that job, especially if it's a cross-watcher and you still with Gemini or whatever, whatever, and you suspect Gemini got something going on. I'm not going to be the one to tell it. Uh, but yeah, Gemini's, I feel like you're you're just healing though. You're in the space of wanting to heal and you know, and especially if you watch me, you know that if you're healing, you heal yourself, then you have no, you have no choice but to attract a, a person to you that's going to match that frequency. So you know that already. If you've been watching me, I've been telling y'all that since the beginning of time, well, the beginning of this channel. Okay. So look. I feel like a lot of you guys are have shifted your focus in a very positive way. I don't feel like it's in a negative way. And you're going to have people checking for you simply because of how you're coming off to people, your energy, okay? And if you're not in that space yet, I feel like Spirit is telling you to do that. Especially if you're having issues with this person because you have to change yourself if you want someone else to change. That's how it goes. It's, it's tough. It sucks. But you have to change yourself. You have to change your inner world and then your outer world will change, okay? Not the other way around. You can't expect other people to change when you have it, okay? So place your, those standards on yourself, okay? The Empress, so I was about to clarify the Emperors here and the Empress is here on the bottom. For some of you, this is your divine counterpart. I'm going to be totally honest. You are going to meet your soulmate. And this one says calling in your soulmate. And then it says your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help bring you two together. So some of you probably need to start looking at this. If you're trying to manifest this person back, because sometimes the three of wands can be about manifestation too. So if you're trying to manifest this person back, you need to look at them in a positive light. So like, say you're looking at all the terrible, horrible things that they've done over, over the years or whatever. That's not going to bring them back in, uh, Gemini's. At least not in, in the space that you want them in. Because like I said, it always starts internally. 
inside okay not outside so if you start thinking about oh i used to love when when she uh when she would cook for me or i used to love when he used to buy me flowers i mean just if even if it's just one thing that they did that made you happy and made you smile just think about that every time you think about this person just think about that over and over and over again okay because i feel like this person is kind of seeing you in a in a positive light uh Gemini, it's Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo for some of you. Yeah, something that's kind of taken a long time to to put together and bring together. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Somebody's stubborn as hell. That's for sure. Um, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. But I do feel like this person is gonna be softening up a little bit. Just a little bit though. <laughs> yeah, see, Gemini, I'm just not getting the same vibe from you that I'm getting from them. I'm just not getting. Seeing this Knight of Pentacles is walking this way. Uh, Four of Cups is coming out on your side to clarify these Three of Wands. I'm not seeing the same energy on your side as I'm seeing on theirs. Like at all. I'm seeing you are kind of, you've disconnected from this um, Gemini's. And it could have because it could be because it took this person too long to, to come back around or to, to grow up or to boss up or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm just not getting the same vibe from you. But I also get, too, um, that some of you kind of need to... The Four of Cups can also be about, like, focusing on the negative, too. So this kind of confirms what I was saying as far as, you know, try to look at this person in a positive light, okay? Um, instead of all the things that they've done wrong or terrible to you. Because I feel like they are ready to... Um, this person's ready, Gemini's. And I feel like they are willing to change for you they're willing to change 999 yeah that's like something coming to head you're worth fighting for yep some of you may also want this person to fight for you too especially here with this five of wands here with this six of swords you want this person you want to see more from them um gemini's and you will Never lose you. I haven't seen this in a long time for you. This is definitely taking it back back. It makes me wonder if this is someone you dealt with a long, long time ago. Never lose you by Kalan Pharrell Pharrell. Wow. Do you by Neo. Somebody's coming in completely changed, uh, Gemini's. But I, just, I don't see that you have the same energy. This might be somebody that... You're not even thinking of. So that could be this too. Where you you may be talking to somebody else or whatever. But this could be someone that you don't even think about anymore. Or a lot of. This is Do You by Neo. Um, and this in the song he says, do you ever uh, think of me? Or do you think of me anymore? Walked Out of Heaven by Jagged Edge. So this person might not even be on your mind, Gemini. So this might be a totally different person that you uh, cut off or walked away from or they walked away. I can't take the silence anymore. Yeah. I didn't want to settle down until I met you. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Because they're coming in like ready. <clears throat> the distance between us is killing me. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of distance on your side though, Gemini's. Like you're, you're just disconnected from this. My life sucks at the moment. Oh, dang. Mm, well, I don't know who that's for. I thought I could resist you. I can't. <laughs> they thought they could stay away from you. No, they cannot. 666. Oh, really? So we have the 666, and we also saw the 999, which is the yin and the yang. So some of you are dealing with some type of soulmate, uh, twin flame uh, type of situation here. 777. Seven, seven. What's with all these numbers? I'm ready to take that leap. I'm gonna get a song too for you guys, a couple songs to see what they're what they want to say through song. There's a card under here. Maybe I'm just not meant to see it. I really need you in my life. Yeah, they may tell you that too, Gemini's. Let me shuffle. Damn, this is a long ass read. Let me shuffle real quick and uh, get a song or two. <laughs> All right, so shuffle. Uh, Nobody But You by Algebra. Bless it. I guess, I think that's her name. 
Yeah, her name is Algebra Blessed. And the song is called Nobody But You. Okay, check that out. Love that song. And then let me get another one. Oh, uh, I Don't Wanna by Jagged Edge. Okay. Um, check those songs out. I'll link them if I remember, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Peace out.